Hello civil engineers, this is Zubair. Today I am going to discuss about loads on multi-story buildings. So multi-story buildings mainly subjected to vertical loads like dead load and live load and uh, horizontal load, a wind force and seismic force. These four loads are major loads acting on this structure. The first load is dead load. Under the dead load we are having sulphate of this structure like beam, sulphate of the beam, sulphate of the column, sulphate of the slab. Again that we are considering the superimposed dead load that is floor finish and partition walls and we, we are having main walls on our beams. So these are coming under the dead loads. These are coming under the dead loads. Again, the dead loads are static loads. Dead loads are what? Static loads uh, that are remains constant throughout the life of the structure. Dead loads are remains the constant throughout the life of the structure. So we need to calculate every dead load acting on this structure, like uh, uh, wall load, floor finish, the according to the thickness, according to the material. So for that we are using uh, IS875 part 1. In this code book we are getting every density of every material. Using that density we are cal calculating the intensity of a load. And the second load is live load. Second load is live load. Uh, in building categories we have different categories that like residential building, commercial building and public building. So every building having different live load. Every building having what? Different live load. So live load are the loads which are not steady. What? Which are not steady. The live load which are includes movable loads also. Like person and also the movable furniture. So which building having how much live load? For which building having how much live load we need to consider? For that we are referring uh, I said 75 part 2. In this code book has mentioned everything about the live load, uh, particular building and particular room you can say. Okay. And the third load is wind force. And these two loads we are calling also gravity loads also. These two loads we are calling gravity loads also because these loads are acting in downward direction. And the third load is wind force. Third load is what? Wind force. What is wind? So, uh, air in motion. Air is in motion. Air is in what? Motion. Air is in motion. It is termed as wind. Wind is termed as what? Wind. Wind possesses kinetic energy. What? Wind possesses what? Kinetic energy. Due to the motion due to the motion when wind strikes the surface of the structure when wind strikes the surface of the surface of the exposed surface of the structure this kinetic energy converted into potential potential energy this kinetic energy converted into potential energy that applies pressure on the building that applies what pressure on the that applies pressure on the building that applies pressure on the building this is called wind pressure this is called what wind pressure and the third load is what earthquake force third load is earthquake force that is caused due to vibration of the surface caused due to vibration of the surface and the vibration cause inertia forces vibration cause what inertia forces the earthquake force are dynamic in nature these earthquake force are dynamic in nature okay and proportional to the mass dynamic in nature and proportional to the mass Wind and, earth, wind and earthquake loads are horizontal loads. The wind loads are pressure or force based loads 
and while the seismic loads are displacement loads displacement based loads so for wind we are referring IS 875 part 3 for wind we are referring because we need to take some parameters to calculate the wind or uh, wind pressure at every specific region and again for seismic force we are referring I said 1893 2016 here also we are taking some conditions some parameters according to the zone according to the uh, region uh, these four these four loads are major loads acting on the structure okay